Today I'm here with patient Matt and his father Doug. And in 1997, Matt was diagnosed with type 2 MPGN, which is a chronic degenerative kidney condition. And we're here to listen to their story of Matt's treatment of progenitor stem cells. How are you today? Great. Great. Good. Well, Matt, I want to talk to you and, and hear how you uh, how all this came about and, and uh, hear your story. So maybe you could tell us a little bit about your condition and, and how this all came about. Um, well, I was diagnosed when I was in the first grade. So back then, I couldn't really make a decision for myself. So I was just following the doctor's orders and taking all the medications he was telling me to take. Um, I had two biopsies, and that's when they confirmed I had a MPGN type 2. So ever since then, my condition has been getting worse until I found out about stem cells. How were you feeling before the stem cells, and how were your symptoms and everything else, and what was your prognosis? What were the doctors saying to you? Um, well, I would be, my energy levels were the main thing that um, I was feeling like the side effect of the medications they were giving me and the overall just my the chemicals in my body were giving me low energy levels and so um, that was the main thing that I really wanted to get rid of without taking uh, you know the epigen shots and um, the stem cells they just gave me a major boost in my energy levels and that was really amazing how were they going to treat you before the stem cells? Um, they, about two years ago, they started talking about a uh, kidney transplant and getting a dialysis, so they, would, they wanted to put a shunt into my arm just in case um, I need to go on dialysis. So um, Did they say when that was going to happen, that you would have to go on dialysis and, and have a kidney transplant? Or what were they saying about that? Um, they, by now I should have had at least dialysis or kidney transplant, so um, w they wanted me to have it done last year, mm -hmm. last summer, but mm -hmm. as you know, that's when I had my first treatment of stem cells, mm -hmm. and it's basically reversed the chronic disease that I have. Mm -hmm. And what's changed since you've had the stem cells? Um, everything, I mean... I'm taking less of the medications that they've given me. My energy levels are good. Mm -hmm. um, my doctors, they really, he would consider it a fluctuation, but the lab results clearly show that it's reversing the, the disease itself. And does it look like you will have to have the kidney transplant? Um, right now it does not look like I'm going to need it. I mean, I feel great. I I should should have been down near the 5% range by now, mm -hmm. but kidney function that is, and I think the lowest it got was 10%, and now it's increasing. It's around 15% now, mm -hmm. so hopefully it'll keep on going up. With the stem cells, there's absolutely no side mm -hmm. effects whatsoever. If, if there is a side effect, it's a good one. It, yeah. It's an energy booster, which essentially mm -hmm. it... it um, supercharges the immune system and um, so there were basically no other side effects then <clears throat> than no. the the boosting okay no, no n none at all and and uh, one of the things that that um, makes stem cells in in Matthew's case so effective is that the the kidney transplant which by the way was going to cost the healthcare system mm -hmm. um, uh, a half a million dollars mm. uh, which wow. is far more obviously than a stem cell treatment um, was just a temporary uh, fix because his kidney if he had gotten a transplant would only last four or five years and, and then, then what would happen he would need another kidney because mm. the the problem was not the kidney the problem was his autoimmune system which was malfunctioning causing mm -hmm. the kidney to self-destruct. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, the, the body's immune system was overreacting. Mm -hmm. What the stem cells did was they fixed that mm -hmm. problem. So now his own kidney can now have a chance to regenerate. Mm -hmm. So the, the, it's not just a temporary fix, this is a permanent uh -huh. cure. Yeah. And, and how has this changed your lifestyle? Um, well, back in uh, 
middle school and elementary school, I used to play a lot of sports, but in high school, I mean, my energy levels went down a lot and I couldn't play like for 10 minutes of basketball without getting tired and having to sit down. But now, like I feel fine playing a full game and mm. I can do most sports. I like to snowboard mm. and um, I can do that now without ever worrying that I'm gonna have to stop and uh, have to like make my buddies wait for me uh, when we're going down the slope. So that's always nice. Oh, thank you so much, both of you, for sharing your story. I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. Thank you. It's great to be here.